You see, this is day number four of doing the same thing, trying to get this unclogged. It's our mistake. We put a little bit of too much cracked corn down the drain, but we're paying for it right now. <laughs> Mike and I are kind of running around today. We got a lot of stuff to do. I just bought a new motorcycle, so we're downtown getting a new title for it. But that's okay, because we're gonna have kind of a late night. Tonight we are doing a tastings down at uh, Neons in OTR. If you've never been to Neons, it's seriously one of the coolest bars in Cincinnati. Some of the best cocktails you'll ever have. Highly recommend them. They've been supporters for us since the beginning, so. Uh, yeah, we just want to thank them for, for an opportunity to go down there and kind of share our story with everybody. Right now, we're going back to the distillery. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got some problems there we're trying to take care of. Our main drain has been clogged for the past couple days. We've been trying to unclog that and seriously kind of put a damper on any kind of productivity that, we, that we've been having. Um, and it's not good timing for that. We actually are, are uh, faced with a lot of orders we're trying to fill, and that has definitely been an issue for us, not being able to, to drain water down our main drain. So that's what we're working on today. Hey, so we're back at the distillery now. Um, kind of want to show you the problem that we've been talking about that we're trying to solve here. So all of our kind of stills, as they're draining, they actually um, pipe water through the stills. And when they're done, they actually kind of come through these garden hoses and fall right down into this drain here. Easy! All the water goes down to this drain and then straight out to the sewer. And when it's backed up, we are literally stuck. We can't do anything. We can't drain our grain. We can't drain our water. We can't drain our stills. We can't run our stills because we have to drain water when we're doing it. So we're kind of stuck. We've been here for a couple of days trying to figure this out. So things have definitely been kind of stressful this week. Uh, all of our production is on hold until we can actually get that drain unclogged. But it um, doesn't mean it's been kind of unproductive. We have bottled up all of this vodka and it's ready to go to Kentucky. Everything here is actually going to Kentucky for the first time. These are the first cases ever being delivered to Kentucky of vodka. And here's all of the moonshine. All of that is going to uh, Kentucky as well. So it's kind of a big, huge milestone for us. I mentioned this kind of last week, but um, this stuff is shipped, uh, or I'm sorry, boxed up and ready to be shipped out. So we're super pumped and excited about that. Uh, yeah, I want to know your opinion <laughs> on what you think is actually clogging that drain. I think a snake is down there. A snake, he says. Michael, check this out. Watch. You ready? You ready? I've been framed. God. <laughs> Your chair's all over my legs. We've tried all sorts of different kinds of snakes. We've tried different types of plungers. We've tried Drano. We've tried... Pretty much anything you can think of, we've tried it so far. Hey, man, what? Hey, we just had a really cool visit from our friend Scott, who owns and operates a chop shop in Northside. He is the one who uh, has kind of cleaned up my mane a little bit and did a little bit with the scraggly hairs on my face, and I've had a lot of compliments. I had a really great experience going there the other day to the chop shop, but uh, he just showed up in this uh, old, it looked like a, like a 50s Bel Air, 
it was super cool. I was wanting to take some video of it, and I actually got uh, kind of too geeked out and, and, and totally forgot to. But I'm going to post a picture of it, so check it out right now. Pretty sweet, huh? So it is 4 o'clock right now. We have about two hours before we need to be down at Neon's for our tasting event. So it's time to actually start getting our stuff ready and start packing up. That's it. I think we're out of here. We're going to Neons right now. Wish us luck. The next day. This is what it's come to. And I think that was it. Finally. So finally, we're able to drain the stills that have been uh, kind of full since Monday when this problem began. And it took a lot of work and it really sucked, but um, now it's working, so it's all good. You know, this kind of sucks and you know, we're, we're still kind of a startup company and we have to deal with these kind of problems unlike a company that's been around for five or 10 years. They've already gone through some of these troubles and part of the reason we started this vlog was so we can actually capture some of these problems and kind of show you uh, some of the stuff that we have to deal with to actually make good quality products. I truly believe that anything that is worthwhile takes a lot of work and is really hard to do. And even though this week was really stressful and it was a lot of work, I still wholeheartedly believe in this company, believe in this business and believe that sometimes you have to, you have to put a couple days of really terrible work in to actually get some really great products made. And, and I think uh, this, this kind of is a, is a good example of that. Hey, so that's it for this week. Um, I want to do a special shout out to Neons. Thanks again for hosting us that tasting event last night. It was awesome. We were there till about 11 o'clock just hanging out with people, talking about the different spirits we make. It was a lot of fun giving out some samples. So thanks for Neons for doing that for us. Uh, thanks to Ohio Beard Supply for coming out and uh, showing us a sweet ride. That was super awesome. Uh, Scott's great. Go down to Northside Chop Shop and check them out. And I think we'll uh, see you next week. Party on. We tried to use some chemicals to kind of break down whatever's causing the clog. So while we were messing with those, Mike was using this particular glove of which he wrote, Biohazard. What's the next line? De death is here, death is near. Death is near. <laughs> Just to remind ourselves, that's the, that's the nuclear glove, not to use that one for anything else. <laughs>